Hey folks, welcome back to James County Life Forge. Uh, got an order today for 24 hooks for some fishing rods. He, he's wanting 24 hooks to hang up his rods in his shop. So uh, what I'm going to do, I've got a piece of one inch by one quarter flat stock, uh, eight inch long piece. I'm going to make them eight inches and I'm going to do a little something extra to them, you know, since they're for fishing rods. It's all about doing like a fish tail on each end of the hook. So we get this in the fire, get heated up, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do them. Cube. I'm going to mark it. One inch. That's where I'm going to do my flare for my fish tail. I don't want to go no further past that with my forging. Alright, got some good heat there. I'm going to take that there. Get right in our. There. Bring the corners back. about 12 inches in total overall length. How's this? Judging by my anvil, I'm almost there in length. Once I finish this little portion here out, I'll have my 12 inches. Clean up some hammer marks. Straighten this thing out. Okay. Here we go. My hardy hole, 12 inches from the edge of my table. So I'm just there. Okay. Got the length I want out of it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ball punch and I'm gonna punch my holes here for the mounting holes. Okay. I'm gonna probably put two inches between them. Come down about an inch from this shoulder with the first one because I want to flare that out into a fishtail, a decorative fishtail. So come down about an inch, ball punch, two inches, ball punch. And that should leave me enough here for my hook and flare that out like another fishtail on the front. So let me heat it up. Or actually, let me get my measurements. Go ahead and mark it with my center punch. All right. I'm going to come down. 
one inch. Let's just go from the end. Yep, we got one inch for our flare there. We're gonna come down one more inch there for our first one. Put a mark there. Two more inches. Put a mark there. Okay. ball punch. Yeah. All we're wanting to make is a recess for the head of the screw to go down into. Right here, just kind of want to put a fuller in the center to give it kind of what a fish tail would look like, you know? And I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit whenever we draw it out, okay? See what we did. Gave it a fuller there to kind of make it like a fish tail. So now when we peen this out with the cross peen, it'll have that fish cross peen. Start to kind of look like a fish tail. Take my cross beam, get it hot, do the other side like that. Alright, start in the middle. Looks like a fish tail, don't it? Alright, let's do the other side. What do we think, folks? Think they look like fish tails? I think they do. I think you're going to love them. Now I'm just going to make some hooks real quick. Take okay, a second. Then I'm in the hooks. Another hot. Turn out pretty good. Nice organic turn there. Um, I'm going to use a jig to do the next 23 to make it faster. Just wanted to give you guys a little peek at how I do it by hand. If you like the video, hit the button. Also, please subscribe to the channel, share it. Uh, I want to put out some more videos, but I need you guys' help. So, uh, like I said, there will be more coming and. Glad you stopped by to check this one out. We'll see you next time.